How is UNT creating new technologies to get us to Mars? My research at UNT investigates alternative methods for spacecraft air revitalization, particularly removing carbon dioxide from cabin air. Current technology uh, used in the International Space Station employs solid sorbents to achieve this. However, NASA seeks to replace solid sorbents as they have large volumes, uh, high energy usage, and reliability issues in the long term. This is not ideal for long duration deep space journeys such as the Mars mission, where resupplying materials is either very difficult or impossible. One of the alternative technologies under consideration is to use liquid sorbents instead of solid sorbents, such as liquid amine that absorbs carbon dioxide. However, this technology requires separation of liquid and gas phases, which is very challenging in microgravity conditions. We are investigating a system called Vertex Phase Separator, which creates and maintains a centrifugal acceleration to replace gravitational acceleration in a cylindrical volume to effectively separate liquid and gas phases. In other words, when we feed carbon dioxide-rich air to this prototype, the swirling liquid amine layer inside absorbs carbon dioxide, and thus we get carbon dioxide lean air as an output. As part of its Artemis program, NASA is planning to go to the moon and then to Mars and set up habitation there. For such uh, deep space missions, which could take nine months or longer, reliability and energy efficiency are critically important, and that's why we are working on alternative technologies. Sometimes space technology challenges lead to everyday uses, memory foam, uh, for example, and in this case, carbon dioxide removal technologies could also find applications such as carbon dioxide capture in Earth's atmosphere that could help reduce global warming and also climate change. Thanks for joining me in the lab. Check out the playlist in the description to see more videos from the lab and hit that subscribe button.